One month ago today, a sudden rainstorm dumped an unprecedented amount of rain on several local towns. One flooded business is reopening today, others still rebuilding. News 8's Kent Pierce has a look at how the town of Oxford is faring. They are putting the pieces back together one month after floodwaters cut the town of Oxford into a jigsaw puzzle. Route 34 at Laughlin Road looked like this at one point, and now it looks like this. Route 67 is now rebuilt all through Oxford. There's one part of 67 in Seymour still not repaired and another stretch in Southbury. Smaller residential streets, well, they're still working on those. And many driveways still lead to nowhere. Remember the amazing video of the house collapsing? Well, that house still sits right where it fell. The last time we were inside the Creative Arts Learning Center, volunteers of all ages were demolishing the damaged walls. Today, new walls are up. We just recently put up new drywall, the electricity is all done, and uh, today they're working on the fence for the playground. The last time customers were in the Brookside Inn, they walked out on a fire truck's ladder. Today, the inn reopens thanks to lots of help. So I have people stopping all the time to ask me if they could help me. That uh, During the first week when we were cleaning up, they wanted to go downstairs and help me clean up and stuff. It's been, they're sending me checks. It's just crazy. Down the street, the boar's nest had to be completely gutted, but the end is in sight. We've replaced all the subfloors, joists, um, board footings. We got the bat patio back in shape. We're going to start fencing this week. Got our, our goal right now is November 1st for a reopening. Most businesses have gotten some help from the state. They're hoping to get a lot more help from the federal government, but right now they're mostly getting by with help from friends and neighbors. It's really, you know, been overwhelming the amount of help we've received and just how willing people have been to do whatever they can to help us out. And that community remains just as strong one month later. In Oxford, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.